welcome back to my channel. Today's video is something a little bit different, something I've not done before. It came about because I was looking for an unusual advent calendar for this year. So um, I want to do Vlogmas and one of the things I want to do as part of Vlogmas this year is open an unusual advent calendar. So I had a bit of a wander around on the internet to see what I could find and what I found, not what I bought, but what I found was that some advent calendars are astonishingly expensive. I didn't even know these things existed. I'm not an affluent person. I don't live a luxurious lifestyle. I'm an ordinary bird in an ordinary council house making YouTube videos. But this blew my mind. Some of the things I found on is that, you know, wow, how the other half live. I thought I would share with you 10 of the most expensive advent calendars I found while I was wandering around on the internet. Off we go. So I was aided in my task by this article that I found in Glamour magazine and on the Glamour magazine website, which is called These are the most luxurious advent calendars for 2020 so far, including Mr. Porter's grooming calendar to give to your boyfriend. Mr. Porter's grooming calendar did not make it into my top 10. In at number 10 and we're starting, we're starting lowest to highest price. So in at number 10 and here's a hint, all of these advent calendars are over £200, all of them. In at number 10, we have the Liberty Beauty Advent Calendar. It's sold out already. If you're watching this video thinking, I'm going to go and get me an advent calendar that costs hundreds of pounds, most of these are sold out. I think it's that exclusivity thing, isn't it? It's, you know, it costs so much money that hardly anyone can afford it. And therefore, anyone who can afford it is going to want to get it as quick. I do know someone who's got one of these. I know someone who has treated themselves to one of these this year because after all, we've had a somewhat shitty year and we deserve a treat. So fair play to that person. I'm not going to say who. Spoilers. It says the Liberty Beauty Advent Calendar 2020 sold out for another year. Uh, it says we'll be back next year with an exciting new lineup to count down your Christmas. It retailed at £215. It, the 2020 calendar contained over £789 worth of the most sought after products from our beauty hall, housed in a recyclable box, adorned in the iconic Stand and Manor print from our Liberty Classics collection. 18 of the 25 drawers, so it is a 25 drawer calendar, which I think is important. I don't like the 12s, don't like those at all. 18 of the 25 drawers include full sized products, making it the most generous lineup to date. Among the products are an array of cult favourites from the likes of Diptyque, Hourglass and Le Labo, fresh discoveries from Beauty Hall newbies Venn, Decree and Augustinus Bader, plus more makeup must-haves in Universal Shades. Liberty is now shipping internationally to meet demands for the most successful and fastest selling product in its 145 year history. It looks lovely. I have to say there is only one picture currently available on the website and I assume that is because it's sold out. They see little point in putting more pictures on. But the print is gorgeous. There's a lovely gold tone on each of the little drawers. The, the number is embossed in gold. And the products look very nice. Are they in fact worth £789? Which is... Excuse the noise from the radiators by the way. Anthony is decorating downstairs and it's scraping on the radiators. So you can probably hear that in the background. Yeah, so the, the full size products apparently are worth £789 and retailing for £235. Does that say 200 I think it says 215 It's tiny, tiny writing. You know what they say, don't they? If you need to ask, you can't afford it. Whether it's worth it or not remains to be seen. There are a lot of products in there that I wouldn't use and therefore from my point of view that wouldn't be a worthwhile thing but if you're a person who enjoys experimenting with beauty products and is open to the idea of using new stuff even if you feel like you might never be able to afford more of that new stuff in future which is how I would be then the Liberty calendar looks lovely it's a beautiful thing it's you know it's absolutely gorgeous design so number nine and creeping slightly up the price scale is the Diptyque limited edition advent calendar and out of stock sold out popular as before again oh, it, this is on the Selfridges website and again it is a lovely looking advent calendar if I click on there you can see that it's a beautiful design lots of lovely drawers is it 25 drawers one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve yes it is it's 25 drawers again like I said I think that's important I don't like the idea of a calendar with not enough drawers it is a lovely looking thing but there is very little illustration of the contents I suppose 
that's kind of the point with an advent calendar, isn't it? You don't necessarily want to know what's in there. But there is a list of contents. Now, it says that you get for your... Uh, did I mention it was £320? £320. For that, you get a moonlit fur 70-gram candle, metal Christmas decorations, 11 35-gram scented candles in tuberose, Figuier, I'm probably pronouncing that horribly wrong, Noisetier, Ombre, Mimosa, Musk, Feu de Bois, Lee, Bays, Roses and Nagril. I apologise, France, I have destroyed your language. Um, Eau de Toilette in four different fragrances, Eau de Parfum in, again, th oh, so three for the Eau de Parfum. And then there is a shower oil, a solid perfume, a rich body cream, an exfoliating body scrub. I think bunging in 11 small candles is a bit cheeky don't you i feel like we could have put a little bit more variety in there um it says there are selfridges selfridges say the lead up to christmas is an always exciting time but it becomes even more thrilling with this limited edition advent calendar from diptyque a festive treat in hand illustrated packaging by none other than ugo gattoni i'm sorry ugo i don't know who you are it's home to this year's seasonal signatures the moonlit fur candle and yuletide decorations and a selection of the brand's most coveted candles fragrances body creams and scrubs hint dream for a spritz of eau capital or doson and you just might get it i mean it's it's nicely advertised and nicely sold but again 320 pounds for 12 candles and some beauty products nice work if you can get it also coming in at 320 pounds is joe malone's offering this year now when you click through from that article that i was working from from the glamour article it just takes you to the joe malone website and i'm assuming that again that their advent calendar is sold out i did a search i put in the word advent it gave me nothing nothing no mention of the joe malone advent calendar on the joe malone website so it's been so massively successful that it's been and gone and we missed it it was 320 pounds and according to the glamour article let me just scroll down and find the article since we cannot show you the actual calendar on the joe malone's website it is a thing of beauty it is in the classic joe malone cream and black colorings there are 24 four windows i think yep 24 is the largest one in the middle there so 24 windows and it says it's filled with 24 surprises including the brand's best-selling colognes travel size bath and body goodies and miniature candles joe malone's beauty advent calendar is once again the ultimate in luxury beauty pre-christmas and there's an extra something special behind door 24 but since that is the only picture that we can find of it we'll just have to believe them Maybe I should have done this this video sooner when things were still available because like I said when you click buy it now it takes you to the Joe Malone website but there is no advent calendar to be seen. So sad. I was going to buy 6, 12, 18. I could have bought 24 and had and opened 24 windows for 24 days. That was not going to happen. In at number 7 and costing a mere £340 is this year's Dior advent calendar. Dior, darling. I couldn't find a La Croix one, otherwise I could have done Patsy and done La Croix, darling, La Croix. Anyway, Dior, darling. It's a beautiful thing again. I have to say, these advent calendars are gorgeously designed. I'm loving this in the black and gold. Uh, there are no zoom-ins, unfortunately. I cannot increase the size of any of the pictures but the graphics on there are beautiful the illustration it's been illustrated by Sophia Juarez I'm sorry Sophia I'm sure I am destroying the pronunciation of your name but it says that in the description look and listen perhaps you will sense the music that made the stars dance into constellations like this ballet company with the rhythm of our hearts beating in unison perhaps you too will join in the dance a source of happiness Celebrate the holiday season at the heart of 30 Avenue Montaigne, where Dior opens the doors to the Atelier de Rêve and reveals in magic beneath a starry sky. Whereas, I'm sorry again, Sophia, has created an advent calendar like an enchanted night with dancing stars and gold dust. An illuminated deer prances above the Paris rooftop as the most marvellous ballet takes place in front of the workshop doors piled high with gifts. Behind each of the 24, 24 calendar doors lies a Dior surprise to count down the days of December steeped in the magical spirit of Dior. And there is a contents list. So 
It is worth noting that for £340 Dior are only giving you miniatures. There are no full-size products in this calendar whatsoever. For £340 you will get miniatures and when I say miniature I mean 5, 10 mil at the most. The highest size here is 10 mil. So 5, 4, 7 and 10 mils of uh, J'adore Air de Parfum, J'adore Air de Toilette, Miss Dior Roses and Rose and Roses Eau de Toilette, Miss Dior Eau de Parfum, Joy by Dior Eau de Parfum, Sauvage Eau de Parfum, Sauvage Eau de Toilette, Dior Homme Eau de Toilette, I'm losing my I'm losing my accent as we go along, Rouge Dior Lipstick, Dior Vernis Nail Lacquer, Dior Backstage Universal Face and Body Primer, uh, I'm going to stop saying Dior, they're all Dior, Lip Maximizer, uh, another mascara, another several mascaras. It goes on and on. It all looks lovely, but they are miniatures. Now, if you ever remember getting the Avon miniature samples through your door when you were little and your mum used to get the Avon book, a five mil lipstick is teeny. It's a teeny, teeny thing. It's a taster, this is, for £340. I feel Dior have been a little bit stingy. I do. I realise that they are a luxury brand. I realise that they value themselves very highly. But yowzers, 340 quid for miniatures and not a single full-size product, even behind the 24th of December. Not for me, Dior. I think I'll keep my 340 quid in my pocket. I don't have 340 quid in my pocket. I don't have it. At six and retailing at £375 is this year's Penhaligon's advent calendar. I don't think I like it. This year they've gone with the theme Brilliantly British. This is also on the Selfridges website and it's, uh, I presume it's in the shape of a Penhaligon's perfume bottle. It has a bow tie at the top in the uh, Union flag colours. It's not a Union Jack, did you know, unless it's flown at sea. There you go, every day's a school day. Um, so yeah, it, it bow tie, bow tie around the neck in the Union flag colours. There's a couple of little soldiers on the bottom there. There's a Christmas tree. It's all very British, all totally British, darling. Inside, have we got 24 doors? We have. I like 24 doors. I know I keep repeating myself. And the products look lovely. I just, I feel like the design is a little bit lacking. So there's our little picture of the products. Are they, are they all there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Yeah, they're all there in that picture. And this is the product details as listed on the Selfridges website. Penhaligon's Brilliantly British Advent Calendar 2020 includes Halfetti Eau de Parfum, Elizabethan Rose, 50ml. Now that's a 50ml, that's quite large. Lunar Body and Hand Lotion, 30ml. Lord George, 10ml. Impressa, 5ml. Teeny tiny. Madura Leaf Candle, 75 grams. The favourite, 10ml. So we've got a mixture, basically, as I'm reading through. We've got a mixture between full-size products and sample size. Again... For £375, I kind of want all the products to be larger, not necessarily full size. I realise that, you know, if these are luxury brands, then the full size products would vastly outlay the value of the calendar if, if it was all full size. But I feel like they could do a bit of a mixture or perhaps they could do an advent calendar specific size. So our sample sizes are usually 10 mil. Our full product size is 100 mil. For our advent calendar, we have created a 25 mil size for example. I feel like that would work. I feel like it would do be doable and I feel like it would might make these a little bit more appealing price-wise because I think £375 for samples is steep. I mean for example they've got the Halfetti Eau de Parfum in there. Now let me see if I can find that. There it is. It's £178 for a 100ml bottle of the Penhaligon's Halfetti Eau de Parfum. They've put into the Advent calendar a 10 mil sample. Logically speaking then, that 10 mil sample is valued by their costs at £17.80. £17.80 for the 24 items, even if that's an average, I don't, I don't think you're getting your money's worth. I just don't think you are, and I think it's a lot to spend to not get your money's worth. I know it's a luxury treat, I know Christmas only comes once a year. I'm just not sold on it i'm just not. in at number where are we we're at number five in at five retailing at 395 pounds it is the misoma advent calendar and it is not on their website again it is sold out so we'll go back to the glamour article and see if we can find what they said about it there it is 
Advent Calendar 395 Misoma. Misoma teamed up with illustrator Vicky Murdoch, creative director and founder of Silken Favours, to create a one-of-a-kind take on this typical festive tradition, and it racked up an impressive 1,000 person waiting list. This year, this luxury advent calendar filled with Misoma's best-selling jewellery from the new mini version of the Sellite Bio Hoops and their interstellar anklet to the molten cuff and brand new pearl studded huggies. They missed out a word, it should say is filled. It will also contain some more minimalist designs such as the gold twisted choker and prism studs to cater to all styles if you don't like bold jewellery. I'll just increase that picture. It's It's a very classy looking box. When you zoom in, although you expect it to be cardboard, it looks a little bit cheapy, which I think if you're selling something for 395 quid, it shouldn't look cheapy. And what really got me was when I clicked on the Misoma website to see if it was there and it wasn't. What really got me was the discovery that all of their gold jewellery isn't. It's gold plated. It's gold plated. It's 18 karat gold plated on brass metal, for example, or... 18 karat, karat, 18 karat gold vermeil, vermeil on sterling silver. I don't think you should charge that amount of money for gold plated jewellery. I just don't. I just don't. I, you know, in my experience, gold plated. Sure, when I was younger, you avoided gold plate, didn't you? Because, you know, the gold came off and, and then you looked awful. I think 400, 400 pounds. 395 for gold plated jewellery even if there is a lot of it in there is a lot of money and i am astonished that there was a thousand person waiting list for this i'm sure it's all very nice but it's gold plated astonishing absolutely astonishing in at four and this one retails again at 400 pounds so they're only slightly more than the uh only slightly more than the misoma gold plated extravaganza this is the aqua de palma fragrance advent calendar it is out of stock again if you wanted to buy these too late this is the harrods website i'm looking at and it does contain 25 products however that's all they've said about it highlights 25 products thanks harrods for all the information that's great it says if you're looking for a new signature scent then this exclusive exclusive aqua de palma advent calendar is for you destined to grace each morning of december with a surprise this calendar includes 25 of the label's best-selling products for you to try that include perfumes bath salts and even a candle even even a candle 400 quid even a candle <laughs> to ensure that every day is blessed with warming and mood boosting scents includes colonia eau de cologne Ceramic to be perfumed with Colonia Sophistic, Blue Mediterraneo Mirto de Paneria. Good God, I, I, I will, my tongue will be tied in knots if I try to pronounce all of these. They are mostly 20 mils. I can see 40 mils. I can see 50 grams. They're not large full size products. Again, they are sample sizes, miniatures, you know. I don't know what Aqua de Palma products retail at normally. Perhaps I should know. Perhaps I should. Perhaps I should have done my research, but £400 for sample sizes. None of these are floating my boat so far. Any of you, have you seen anything that excited you? Is there anything that I've shown you guys so far that's made you go, next year, I'm getting on the waiting list. I'm going to get me a gold plated calendar or some five mil lipstick. I'm having all of that. I'm having all of it and I'm paying hundred. Any of it, any of it. Let me know. Let me know if any of this has, has tickled your pickle. In at number three. We've jumped a little bit price-wise. I thought this was the most expensive advent calendar I would find, and then two more popped in at two and one. So in at number three, and retailing at a massive £650, is the Wedgwood Advent Calendar 2020. It is in the classic blue and white Wedgwood colours. It is a beautifully classy-looking box. I love the design. I can just about read that. A magical Wedgwood Christmas is beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Your journey towards a magical Christmas begins right here. Each morning you will discover an expertly crafted blue and white ornament. I'm trying to read scrolly print, bear with me. Building the excitement towards the big day. The festive season is made of miniature moments of joy and these 24 miniature ornaments will bring joy for years to come, creating lasting memories. These timeless blue and white ornaments are perfect to decorate your tree, or home every year so keep them safe get ready to deck the halls eat too much let it snow be merry and count down the days with wedgwood 
Welcome to A Christmas Made Merry. Welcome to Wedgwood. I like that. And what I like about this one is that these are things you can keep and get out every year. As they said, you can decorate your tree every year. I still think 650 quid, a good old chunk of cash. And what I was disappointed with is there are absolutely no images of the contents. Not just on the Harrods website, but anywhere on the internet as far as I can find them. I searched and searched for this Wedgwood advent calendar all over the place. Couldn't find any images of what might be in there. So, are these little gifts Christmas decorations? You know, are they? Do, do, when you look at that, does it, does it screen Christmas or are, are they other things? Are they Wedgwood shepherdesses or, or cameos? You know, who knows? It says it includes 24 mini baubles that are 4.5 centimetres by 3.4 centimetres by 0.4 centimetres approximately. And they are presented in a sustainable Wedgwood gift box and wipe clean. Nice, 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 wipe clean. But that's it. That's it. It's a bit of a magical mystery, that one, isn't it? I don't think I'm brave enough, even if I had lots of money, maybe if I had loads of money, maybe if I had pots of the stuff lying around, I'd be brave enough to spend 650 quid on a completely mystery box. If you or anyone you know has bought the Wedgwood Advent Calendar, please message me with some little pictures of what's inside, because I'll never know. It's a complete mystery and we'll never know. In at number two, and retailing at a slightly whopping £850, is the Carolina Bucci Forte Beads Advent Calendar. The description says, Carolina Bucci's dark blue advent calendar is from the Forte Beads collection, which is inspired by unique expression. The midnight shade of the box emulates the Tuscan night sky, of course it does, and opens to reveal 24 neat slide out drawers, each one with two hand carved beads in a wide range of semi-precious stones, including jade, tiger's eye and amazonite, complete with an 18 karat gold bead. That doesn't say gold plated, it says 18 karat gold bead with a textured Florentine finish. So there is the lady with her charm bracelet on. It doesn't float my boat. I don't know if my boat has just got a hole in it and that's why nothing's floating it. I don't know. But I'm not much for one for a multicoloured bead bracelet. And I don't think that you would glance at that bead bracelet. I don't think you'd glance at that bead bracelet and go, oh, that will have cost her 850 quid. Now, maybe that's just me thinking that if you're going to have expensive jewellery, you should be ostentatious about it. Maybe it's maybe it's not a question of people should know what it costs. Maybe you only have to know inside what it costs. But doesn't that look rather like your toddler could have made it in preschool? Doesn't it? Doesn't it look a bit like that? Maybe it looks nicer in the flesh. The calendar design is lovely, again. Maybe it looks nicer in the flesh. Each of the little beads come in a little plastic pot, so that's... um. Again, I think that packaging leaves a little bit to be desired. They could have been in a little velvet pouch inside each drawer or something, rather than a little plastic tub that you get a sample from Lush in. But I do like the dark blue. I do like the stars. I just don't like the contents. For 850 quid, I just don't like that. I just don't. I mean, I don't know. I presume that the very lovely Carolina Bucci at Forte Beads won't give a damn whether I like it or not because I'm not on the list am I it's sold out by the way so lots of people did like it and if you liked it I'm sorry I'm not sitting here deliberately offending you I just don't think it's worth the money so does that mean that I will be favorably impressed with what's in at number one don't hold your breath in at number one costing an eye-watering knee crunching, head splitting, brain aching, £8,950. Remember this is an advent calendar. Is Larkin Berry's fine jewellery ear piercing advent calendar. So what Glamour magazine said about it is that just in time for the festive season, Lark and Berry have released a decorative 24 day advent calendar featuring the brand's exclusive curated ear piercing collection that uses only cultured, never mind, diamonds and stones. The advent calendar box includes 24 piercing items and most loved pieces, including the Vito Sapphire Crescent Librette and other studs, librettes and hoops, all set for any ear piercing fanatic and their friends. I don't think I know any ear piercing fanatics. 
And the best bit, modelled after Larkenberry's flagship brick and mortar store at 52A George Street, Marlebone. The box is valued at £8,950. Let's go and have a look at it, shall we? Apparently it's modelled after their flagship store, which I can only assume is a large marble building. Because that's very, very plain, very, very simple. Ah, there's the outside. <laughs> that makes a bit more sense. So there is your your representation of the Larkenberry store, which is uh, on George Street, Marlebone. Just steps from Selfridges, London. It says there that it's just steps from Selfridges, London. It is made of recycled materials. And uh, and you had to pre-order before November 1st for November 30th delivery. It is still available. It's still available. It's not showing as out of stock. So if you happen to have 8,950 quid burning a hole in your pocket, you can pop onto the Larkenberry website and you can order yourself this advent calendar. There are, again, no pictures of the contents. None at all. I cannot find a single picture of the contents. Would you, would anyone, spend 8,950 quid blind no idea of what's in there it just you know there's just nothing no pictures i presume that if you are familiar with the brand perhaps you go ah oh, yes that's the so-and-so and that and then so when she said the veto there you go, the veto sapphire crescent was mentioned for example that's in there one of those cost 349 pounds one of these librettes costs uh, £139. They are 14 karat gold, which is, you know, an improvement on our gold plated number from earlier on. But does that mean that in these drawers you are getting singles? Because, for example, the Vito Sapphire Mini Hoop, you get, you get what, a single for £260. I like wearing my earrings in pairs. I've got two ears. I wear one in each side. I wear matching ones. I feel like that's a fairly standard thing. If I've got 24 doors, is there a guaranteed other one in another door? And if so, do I feel ripped off that I've had to open two doors in my calendar to get one pair of earrings? I think it's odd that they sell them in singles. I think I think earrings should be pairs and I think in your drawer you should get a pair. However, there are some beautiful, beautiful things on their website. They are stunning and maybe it is worth £8,950 for what you get in there. But I'll never know. I will never know. If you have won the lottery this year and treated yourself to the Larkenberry piercing advent calendar, do let me know what you get. In fact, you know, if, if there's any bits in there that you don't want, my address is... Dee -dee 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 -dee. <laughs> I don't know if you'll have enjoyed this video. It's something completely different for me. I don't normally do reactions videos, but I was so astonished by what I found when I was shopping for my advent calendars, which you'll notice I haven't told you which ones I got. None of the above. I was so astonished at what I saw that I thought it would be interesting to make this video and, um, and show you guys how the other half live. Maybe you are the other half. Maybe you live this way. Maybe it's just me who hasn't got one. Maybe everyone's got one except me. Oh, I don't like that. Remember, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, to hit the subscribe button down there, click the little bell so that you get notified when I upload. And with all that said, all that remains to say is thank you for watching and I'll be back soon with more of whatever it is I do here. Take care. Bye bye.